Hi, today we're in Malibu Creek State Park up by Calabasas. We're gonna take the trailhead down here and the trail up to the rock pool, the mash filming site. Check out our beautiful plants here. This is coyote brush from the genus uh, Bacchus. All right. And we've got our oak trees here. Okay. This is all oak woodland community. So we're gonna see a lot of uh, squirrels, acorn woodpeckers. We've got a little lizard here without a tail. So Malibu Creek, it sits at the base of these Santa Monica mountains. All right, so these uh, mountains have got this brown, really fossil rich sedimentary rocks. And they lie sandwiched between layers of darker igneous rocks and mortamorphic rocks. And this, uh, these layers here, they tell us that the rocks, they formed in an ocean environment with active volcanoes. You hike up here, you can see little signs of uh, active volcano faults or fault lines even marine fossils, way up at the top of the Santa Monica Mountains. So the field here by the campground, this used to be all a cornfield, and they planted it for the filming of Planet of the Apes in 1968. And if you remember, you know, the apes are chasing Charlton Heston and all the other humans through the cornfield, and they captured him. And then they gave his friend a lobotomy and remember they cut uh, Charlton Heston's throat or somehow and he couldn't talk, or something like that. And then later on he learned how to talk and he amazed them. So here's the uh, big chase scene here. Hey, check out this Quercus lobata here. This thing's absolutely huge. He's gotta be 350, 400 years old. Wow. And he's got some uh, little acorns growing on him. Let's check this out. All right, so here are the little acorns forming, okay, and they'll be ready in a couple months for the little scrub jays and the squirrels and the acorn woodpeckers to collect and then store for winter time. So here we have the high road, and we're going to head on at least to the MASH site, all right? 2.3 miles, or the Reagan Ranch, 2.6 miles. This beautiful road here. We already have the creek coming through. In the tree here, we have a California towhee, right there. Here's some of our willow, a little close up. Look at this uh, green, glossy on top and all glaucus colored on the bottom here. It just likes to wave in the wind. Make these beautiful, beautiful patterns. Wow, check out these hills. Beautiful. Oaks. And we're headed here down Crags Road. Here we have an egret. He's looking for some breakfast. Hey, that's cool. And here's our California buckwheat, Aragonum fasciculatum. All right, it's got the, the leaves, they're in bundles here, called fascicles, as they alternate uh, up the stem. You got these beautiful flowers. So this tree here, this is a sycamore. It's a western sycamore. So we got them all out here. This little flat plain valley area, or wash. So it's different than our American sycamores, and those are the ones you typically see at the shopping centers. This is native to uh, the west coast. 
the Americans are native to the East Coast. So watch out for the poison oak that we have here. All right, you can tell because it's got three leaves here with the larger leaf on top and two smaller ones. Okay, sometimes there are a couple more, but one, two, three, right? This one here is a good example. And this will uh, get your skin all irritated and rashed. So you hit a fork in the road, Crags Road. This way here is the visitor center. The rock pool, we'll do that later. But now we're gonna head up to the MASH filming site in Century Lake. And this guy here, he's an oak titmouse. So this little shrub here, it's called a chaparral mallow, or a Mendocino bush mallow. It's got thousands of these little pretty pink flowers that come out at summertime. And they're all arranged on this elongated cluster on the stem. And here we have a scrub jay. There he goes. He likes to eat the acorn. So this plant here with the taco shaped leaves looks like a laurel sumac. It's really a lemonade berry. You can tell since it's got serrated leaves instead of smooth leaves like a laurel sumac. But I don't see any berries on him today. That's too bad. Here's our run-of-the-mill coastal sage. He's not a sage. He's a uh, just California wild beautiful plant that likes to grow out in our chaparral. And in fact, there's so many, a lot of these environments are called coastal sage environments, but this plant itself is called a coastal sage. Here we have a little beetle right here. This shrub here is called a holly leaf cherry, Prunus elisifolia. It has stiff holly shaped leaves and lots of little cherry berries. And that's how it gets its name, holly leaf cherry. Hey, check out this guy. This is a Western whiptail lizard. He's probably about 12 inches long. All right, check this out. There used to be an old adobe structure here. Looks like here's some the outer walls. There's a little retainer wall here. Okay. And up here we have some stairs. I couldn't tell you what's inside or outside. But we have a little tiled area. Some stairs perhaps leading to a former house or perhaps the stairs came down and led out this way. Either way, that's not here anymore. So here's another lizard on a rock. This is a common side blotch lizard. So the males, they can change into three different morphs. So they always tend to look a little different from each other. Now all this brown hairy stuff on these plants, this is a parasite. It's growing on these plants. Just sucks them dry. This is called Canyon Daughter. All right. It has no chlorophyll. It has no roots. It just grows and embeds himself into these plants, the stems, and then uh, sucks all the nutrients out until the host plant dies and just spreads around like we have here. Now this dried up dead looking guy, it's called a fiddle neck. He's related to barrages and forget-me-nots. There are lots of different species which overlap, so it's kind of hard to tell which one he is. So we just call him a caterpillar plant. So this little lake here is called Century Lake. And out here is a great blue heron enjoying the day. So this location here is the site of Planet of the Apes, the movie with Charlton Heston. And right in this whole area is the homes of all the apes like Roddy McDowell and Dr. Zaya. All right. And here's a little monument up here that kind of shows you what the set looked like with Charlton Heston. 
right here. So here's the set, and that set would have been right here. Wow, Planet of the Apes. So 20th Century Fox, they purchased this property in 1946. Of course, they transformed it into a movie location. And the rocks and the trees, they became known as Century Ranch. And then California State Parks bought the property in the early 1970s. And that included the historic White Oak Farm and Ronald Reagan's Yearling Row Ranch. And the park opened to the public in 1976. How about that? Wow, check out this fuzzy little guy running around. This is a thistle down velvet ant. But she's not really an ant. She's actually a wingless female wasp called a cow killer. She's got a super wicked sting. So I'm just gonna leave her alone. So these ridges right here, this looks like they had the uh, ape scarecrows in Planet of the Apes. And here's the bridge that leads over to MASH. Down here, these are called Southern Cattail. Right, looks like little hot dogs. And um, so the male part is the fuzzy part on the top of the hot dog. And the female part is the hot dog. And the female will make seeds that fluff and fly away. This is an um, invasive plant to California. But you find it here in these marshes and it likes to grow out of the water like here and up here is a band tailed pigeon right there so this here is the trail to the mash site see how this is all just eroded away it's like a big river just washes down here when it rains i'll show you what i mean here See all this debris? It's piled up on this tree here. It's all piled this way, right? As the water rushes down. This one too. All this debris just piles on these trees. Looks like this guy caught on fire one time. Hey, here's one of our mule deer. He's sort of checking us out. Oh, there she goes. Well, looks like we finally made it to MASH 4077. Here's our little uh, ambulance, huh? And here's the film set out here. And here's the hillside where the helicopters would uh, fly into, like at the opening scene of MASH, right? There's some ruins up here from the MASH unit. So here's the little MASH 4077. Here's the uh, mess hall down here. Over to our right would have been the showers and a bunch of all the little structures in between. All right. And we got a rusted out old truck here. Maybe this is Radar's Jeep he used to drive around. Right, the Colonel in. All right, looks like a little, maybe a rusted out ambulance. And I think this was uh, in MASH a lot too. All right, so let's say goodbye to MASH, but before we do, up in the mountains here, see this peak? You should recognize that from a lot of the scenes from MASH. It's pretty unique. And that way you know it's been filmed out here in uh, Malibu Creek. This flowering guy here is called a California milkweed. He's a flowering perennial with thick, white, woolly stems. Looks like we have some yellow-faced bumblebees. Looks like they're doing some pollinating. Here's a pair of western fence lizards. Now they're super common. You probably find them in your backyard. And it looks like they want some privacy, so we'll leave them alone. This is our Cooper's hawk. He's sort of a medium-sized hawk. And you recognize him by his roundish head and his long tail. 
Hey, here's some old iron structure for, some, for something. Let's see. Let's see there. Here we have a white egret, or a great egret. Sometimes people call it a great white egret. All right, check out this guy. He's a Pinacate beetle. People call him a stink bug. All right, if you bug him enough, let me see. He might stink up for us. He doesn't bite. There he goes. All she does is probably a female. And she just walks around. She's trying to find a place to lay her eggs. It's a pretty common beetle. Come on. The bug, come on, stink up for me. So she squirts like, I don't know, six inches or so. Maybe like 12 inches. Come on. Yeah, here we got a mule deer. All right, well that's our little walk along Craggs Road out in Malibu Creek. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, bye.